Hello, Calgary Flames fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sands 3 Minutes Max. In our Cape Week episodes, we are going in to look at the GUI version of Cape today. So let's head on over there. When we first open the program, we see that most everything is grayed out, and that's the way it's going to be until we start picking options. Remember, we talked about targets. So let's, I want to use targets and I want to go out and I want to, gray, I want to run some uh, collections and I want to use my target files to do it. Now within CAPE, uh, we have to pick a target source. In other words, where does the data live that I want to collect? So we could go to our C drive, for example. Now, where do I want to, or we could pick any mounted image, quite frankly. Uh, our target destination, we want to create a, a place where all of these files are going to go. So what I like to do is I create on my desktop a file called tdest. And tdest is going to be, is for target destination. And that is where the computer is going to save all of my stuff. Now you see this flush command over here, and this flush command is going to say, hey, before you put files that you've collected into this tdest folder, flush everything else out of there first. We want that folder to be empty. We don't want any commingling of data. Of course, if you do, because you have multiple computers for the same case, maybe you don't want to flush, but generally you would want to flush. That is why we don't save everything to our desktop like we usually do with downloads and stuff. Because with this checked, it will flush everything off your desktop and you will lose it. Gone. Now, below that is where are our target files? What do we want to do? Do you remember we talked about evidence of execution? Well, we can select it and run it from right here. What else do we want to run? We could run file system stuff, the MFT, for example, uh, a number of different things that we could run. We could run iTunes backup. We could run link files and jump lists. We can do a number of different things uh, here, collecting stuff. Now, could we collect it all? Sure, we could just checkbox everything and collect all the things, but that's not very efficient. Remember, this is a surgical approach. If you want to just throw crap at the wall and see what sticks, go use NCASE, go use FTK, go use any tool of your choice where the processing will take days and it will look at everything. Here, we're going to be much more targeted. We want to pull forensic goodness. We want to talk about things like battlefield forensics, going and getting actionable intelligence in 90 minutes or less. Then we have volume shadow copies. It will run this against volume shadow copies and it will also deduplicate the data. We can push it out in any way we would like and we can call it whatever we want. Once we have that, we can tell it whether we want to zip it or not. We can also tell it, we can also tell it don't pull out stuff that matches hashes by these values. We have a number of other options that we can pick, but generally we won't. In the next episode, we're going to talk about selecting uh, and looking at the module side of the equation. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.